Hi everyone, welcome back to Curious by Nature. My name is Marjorie, and today we're gonna to learn about symmetry and butterflies with our friend, the artist Catherine Lampert. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Catherine Lampert, and today we're going to be exploring symmetry through a butterfly project. And what you need first is a piece of construction paper. You can use any color. Um, you're gonna fold it in half. And I'm going to sketch out how I want my butterfly wings to look, just half of it, because you're going to wind up unfolding it after you've cut it. And I'm cutting these out with my safety scissors you're doing this project with young kids. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is uh, pick some pink colors and put them on my palette. And then I'm going to um, paint one half of my butterfly wing. And I'm going to do it very thickly because you'll see in a minute that we're gonna fold our butterfly in half and what you paint on one side is going to print onto the other side to make a symmetrical pattern. So I'm just kind of putting it on in a almost gloppy way so that I make sure it's, it's really gonna print onto that other side. And you can be as abstract as you want. And then I'm going to fold it in half. And when I open it back up, I'll have this nice symmetrical pattern. So I've been really into gold paint lately, so I'm going to paint the body of my butterfly gold. And I love being able to reuse and recycle things from around the house, so I always save these um, toilet paper roll and all my paper towel roll inserts. And um, my five-year-old just loves to make things out of them. We make things out of them all the time. Um, so I'm gonna paint the entire body this gold color. Okay, perfect. As my daughter likes to say, that's not garbage, it can be art. So we're gonna let that dry for a few minutes. And in the meantime, I am gonna cut out some eyes. You can use googly eyes if you have them, but I kind of like to make my own. So I'm just gonna cut out two little circles can use copy paper or construction paper, whatever you have laying around. And they don't have to be exactly the same size. I kind of like it when they're not. It looks a little fun and silly. I'm gonna use a little bit of black paint for the pupils of the eyes. I'm pretty sure real butterflies don't have pupils, but That's all right. Okay. We'll set these aside until your toilet paper roll is dry. I like to use whatever I have laying around and I just happen to have a little bit of this masking tape left. I'm going to roll it. If you have double stick tape, that works, but I didn't have any today. And I'm going to put my eyes right on the little tape roll and attach it to my butterfly body. I always use washable paint when I'm doing this project with children. Even if we're wearing smocks, I, I find it's a good idea. So I'm just adding a happy face to our butterfly using a little blue paint on top of this pink here. So now that your symmetrical butterfly wings are dry and your butterfly body is dry, 
all you have to do is attach them. And again, I'm just using some um, masking tape. You can use whatever kind of adhesive you want. If you'd rather use glue or double stick tape, that's perfectly fine. And I'm gonna put the tape rolled up on the front side of my butterfly wings and just attach it like that. Oh, I think I need to actually make it a little higher so that my butterfly can stand up on its own. Um, and I'd like to add some uh, antenna, actually. <laughs> I'm just gonna use two little strips of construction paper. But again, use whatever you have laying around. Put a little tape on there. Stick it inside the roll. And we're finished. That's our show for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed today's art lesson. Be sure to leave any questions in the comments below and subscribe so you never miss an episode. We'll see you back here next time on Curious by Nature.